Good morning, everyone, and welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Today, we have another Ontario knife, uh, Old Hickory, E3 for Thursday, and uh, taking a look at, again at three less common uh, Ontario knives, or Old Hickory knives. And I'm going to start with this one. This is a shoe knife. Now, this one, as you can see, does have some rust on it. Uh, it came in like that, but again, this was five dollars i think so i'm not going to worry about it um i'll take this off but i did want you to see you know that it can come in with some of that again my guess is that this was sitting on a shelf for quite a while before they probably sold it because you know this is a relatively uncommon you know, purpose-built knife the thing that this is for is when you're making shoes to like trim the leather like on the sole and stuff like that uh so you know it's fairly thin it is somewhat flexible and uh you know very very slicey you know you could use this for a lot of other things too where you you know especially if you wanted to get a little uh detail work done or need to score some things um not gonna be particularly robust but uh, decent enough you've got the 1095 steel blade little ferrule on there and uh like the um what was it the linoleum knife that i showed a couple weeks ago you've just got the one pin into the handle so again this is not a heavy duty knife but you know it is u.s made and uh, 10 5 steel so i picked it up just for fun second is a knife that if you grew up on a farm or you know anybody who butchers uh you may be familiar with this is a skinning knife and it is, as the name suggests, it's meant to skin. Um, you know, if you have a butcher in the family or you, you, know, you live in a town where you've got a butcher shop, good chance they have a couple of these type of knives sitting around, not necessarily the old hickories. Um, you know, quite honestly, if they're, if they're in a commercial situation, they probably want uh, like a polypropylene handle rather than the wood. But um, yeah, this is, you know, you see the big old upswept blade, um, you know, pretty thick on this, very typical for the old hickory style of knives um, some people may use these in their kitchens you can certainly rock this a lot you could use it sort of like a small chef's knife if you really wanted to i suppose but it is meant for skinning and being able to take the the skin off animals without puncturing anything right? so again 1095 blade full tang the i believe these are walnut i'm not 100 sure uh, i would have to check the old hickory side i guess uh, but you know the wooden handles the two brass rivets very, very typical styling, but a knife that you don't see as much, at least in home kitchens. And then this big old fella. This is a field knife. This is meant for being out, uh, harvesting vegetables, things like that, and being able to whack the roots and stuff like that off them. Uh, again, you have the 1095 steel blade. Let's see how long this blade is. Uh, this blade is about 10 inches, just a little over. All right, going from 3 to 13 over here. So 10 and maybe a quarter inches. Um, it is 1095 steel, fairly thick, but because it's so big, it does have some flex. The wooden handle, it doesn't say Old Hickory on it, but it says Old Hickory up here. This, again, is made in the USA, as are the others. Uh, kind of nice little, sort of like a uh, lightweight machete. I suppose you could use it as. Um, now you'll notice the holes at the end here. This is so that you can put a little spike on it. And you can buy this with the spike already attached and then it's called a beat knife rather than a field knife. Uh, because what that little spike is for is if you grow sugar beets, you know, you can dig them out of the ground, you can whack them, pick them up with it and then chop them off. Um, so very interesting, okay? I really kind of like this. Uh, could be used, you know, as I said, like a lightweight machete. Um, this actually kind of reminds me in the build of my Tramontina machete. Um, so anyway, just three knives I thought you might like to take a look at. All US made, all 1085 steel, all hardwood handles. Um, still available out there. As of today, I looked and I could find all of them on various sites. You might not find them all on the same site, but they're available if you want. So, uh, let's see, I think I said this one was about five, maybe six dollars. This was, I think I got this for about 14. And this uh, was not bad, this was like 15 or 16. So, uh, given the size of this, that was a pretty good price. Can't guarantee what your prices will be, but hey, check them out. 
All right, you guys have a great Thursday and a great week and a great month and a great year. Have them all great. Anyhow, take it easy. I will catch you next time.